we have the mango bean. We use half. This is mango beans. And this is like a famous legume or legume. 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 Legume in the Philippines. Um, normally I would soak it like about maybe an hour to a half an hour. But uh, today I'm so pressed for time so I'm just gonna go uh, cook this straight into the pot. Don't forget to wash it first. Good. And also we have some eggplant. We have our garlic here. I'm not gonna use the whole thing but maybe a couple of uh, cloves. And I have onion. Unfortunately, I forgot to buy tomato. So no tomato for my gisadong mongo today. So it's... We will boil our mongo beans until the skin or the uh, green covering will come off. So while we are boiling our mongo beans, um, I'm going to prepare the rest of the ingredients. If you're going to ask me what's mongo beans if you're not Filipino, then I can tell you mongo, mongo, mongo is actually cheap type of vegetable. It's common in the Philippines. So you can use mongo with a lot of vegetable it's i would say when you cook mongo beans it's almost like a lentil soup except you can use dried fish uh, pork chicken or any meat that you have uh, fried fish also you can use it as a as a meat replacement so you'll see what it is and a lot of filipinos like me likes it so i'll show you my version okay the only problem here when you're living here in the united states even here in Hawaii, if you can't find the right ingredients, you just have to make your own um, adjustment when you cook mungo. I actually have a twist for that uh, mungo. Instead of using, normally I would use squash or calabasa in my mungo. Um, where, I'm, where I'm from, in Ilongo land, we use calabasa as a part of the mungo beans, guisado. So I'm going to use a leftover. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin so I wonder if it tastes the same like our calabasa so we'll see it's an added fiber added ingredients and hopefully it tastes good right so I'm gonna cut it and slice it too our mungo is done so we'll just put this on the side and prepare the rest of the ingredients and then we will put our pumpkin We're waiting for the pumpkin to soften a little bit. Let's go on the side yard and pick some fresh alubati. I'll be right back. Alubati grows really wild in my backyard. And all I gotta do is just pick it. It's crawling all over this tree. And it's almost like a jungle in here. So there's one. I'm just gonna get the young shoots. And then we'll go back to the kitchen. Then I have me uh, leftover lechon and we'll add it on. And then we'll add our mongo beans. We just let it kind of boil. And instead of uh, seasoning, I add beef base something and instead of using salt add a little bit of it so my lunch is finally ready i'm gonna go eat let me just dig in with this. Uh, gosh, I'm so hungry. And I wish you're here to uh, taste it. Mm. Mm. This is alugbati. 
with mungo and with pumpkin. Let's try the pumpkin. Mm. It almost tastes like the calabasa that we're used to, but a little bit milder. But, pwede na rin. Pwede na rin siya. And I wish you guys were here to taste this. Aloha, mahalo, have a great day.